So guys, today we are going back to Bucha. Bucha we'll Pingo, check those places out. Yeah, and we have a surprise guest as well. Miss Josephine. <laughs> nice uh, t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, we are headed into back to Urban guys. That's how it looks. Wow, Blian. Yeah. Already you see the marks of the road, but there's no more people living here already. This bridge. This bridge is already. completely fucked. Are they rebuilding it? This was destroyed. Oh my god. See, this bank is still there. It's still there. Wow. People were hiding under this bridge. Remember this picture? Yeah. It was right here. Oh wow, this was it? Yeah. Whew. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy. Oh, yeah. Ще чуйно розвиднюються, люди намагаються в вагоні, зокрема, працює авіація. Військові, до речі, скажуть. It was such a surreal feeling walking across these same wooden boards that were laid down to help the citizens of Urban and Bucha escape the Russian mm -hmm. artillery fire and shelling. Now it's almost like a living monument of what happened just months before. And it's so crazy to see it in person because we all saw it on the news. And imagine how scary it is to you know, be with um, almost a month with uh, not adequate food, you know, water, sleep, and needing to escape. I think it's still dangerous. It is. Yeah, that's crazy. Look at this, guys. How insane is this? Baby shoulder there in the left. All the people that died there, wow. That's crazy. If I can pass without it breaking, then you guys are okay too. I'm the test. Yeah. You can do it. Do I? <laughs> we'll go. We we'll have to go back across again. You can do it. Yeah. What does it say? <sighs> okay, President Zelensky announced uh, Irpin Bridge uh, as memorial. Uh, uh, Ukrainians who died because of Russian invasion. Uh, our respect to uh, uh, our condolences uh, to all their relatives. Peace to everybody. Wow, that's nice. Do you yeah. want to write something? You can. Here's a marker.
Yeah. Look at all these murals here, too. This painting is for President Zelensky. Jack Kuril. Everybody who knows the name of the person who died because of Russian invasion can write it down over here. Oh, wow. And these are just the people who came under this bridge. And there's literally been tens of thousands of people already. And I hope it doesn't continue. Uh, I told you at uh, Raim. That, that's what it says, yeah. That's what it says. Yeah. If you know the name of a person who died because of Russian invasion, write it down on this memorial board. Yeah. That's crazy. We just drove, uh, it felt so normal to drive here, and then all of a sudden, like, look at this. It's all destroyed. I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> so guys, we've just been driving into Irpin for like, literally like two minutes, and already it's like the mood completely changed. Guys, it's crazy. Is it this way? I'm not sure, like, go straight. You can always turn around. So here's, oh my god, look at all these cars that are destroyed that just piled up. Let's go inside. Wow, guys, look. Like, if I just saw that, that would have been like a zombie, like, movie scene right there, right? Now, if you look over here, this is kind of just where they piled them up, just to... They just need a place to store them, I guess. People that were trying to escape. Engines got shot out. Cars got damaged. But look at this. This is insane. These are all cars that were destroyed and they're just basically keeping them here before they can uh, scrap them, I guess. All civilian cars too. Like ima imagine this, like people owned all these. Like they were just normal normal civilian cars, like little hatchbacks. Like this is probably like a Corsa or something. It's like the equivalent of like you know, like a cheap family car. It's probably like a first family car, you know. There's like a, a few vans and other kind of like transport port things, but most of these are they're just like civilian cars. When I was here in, I believe, end of March or April, there were a few kind of scattered around, but seeing all of them in one place, it's really wild. Like, it's really wild. This one is completely covered in bullet holes. Actually, I guess a lot of them are. You just can't really tell because they're rusted. But almost all of them have been shot at, right? That one's been shot. This one completely destroyed. Look at this. Oh. 
even though that's been shot at. Yeah. Well, look at look at these cars. Look at the holes in the side of this van. Yeah, and actually, even every car I looked at, like it's hard to tell because they're uh, all rusted out now. Mm -hmm. They all have little holes in it. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Okay, it makes sense. Those are more like bullets, I think. Yeah. I mean, a combination of both, I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah, but you can see that one hole probably killed the the driver, the passenger, and it was yeah. enough to stop it. Yeah. yeah. What is your impressions of this? Oh, it's horrible. What I can say. Like, no words. Like, I'm sure you've seen it on the news, but is it different seeing it in person? Yeah, because it's much, uh, well, let's say, global, globally, mm. I yeah. don't know. It feels more real, like it's here. And bigger, you know, you look at this uh, hole. Yeah. So some of it's bullet holes, some of it's shrapnel. It's so big. Yeah, but definitely don't touch anything, because you're gonna... No, I don't touch anything. Yeah, get tetanus. Uh, so I found out why these cars rust so fast and it's, it's from the heat so I used to think I was like oh it, like the war had only been going on for I think when I first went it was had been going on for two months and I was like how would it rust that quickly and why are all the, the ribs white and I found out it's from the heat from the explosions just like instantly like overnight it, it rusts like this Vlad <sighs> you've seen this yeah, I've seen this because we went to this direction a couple of times before. Yeah, but I remember when I came with you a few months ago, it wasn't all in one place. It was just kind of scattered around, like uh, everywhere. You can find a couple of places like this because it's way more cars than even here. It's just one location, mm -hmm. I don't know, three or four Yeah. Uh, in the, this area. Yeah, and it's not like we were looking for it. There was no sign or anything. We literally just drove by. So there's probably so many things like this. And like We've literally been in Urban for less than... A kilometer probably like yeah. probably like half a kilometer like we just entered and just on the randomly we we're like oh let's turn down this road and see this crap this is how close they've been to Kiev. luckily they didn't enter yeah maybe it's just you know just another wall for them good children baby seats no jackets definitely like kids clothes this is basically a station wagon. Yeah, definitely civilian vehicles. More just normal clothing. Get some guys' boots. Yeah, I purpose wore my boots today because I knew. Even though most of Urpin and Bucha is relatively cleaned up now, I knew there was going to be a lot of debris and things to, to step on. Uh, but we we're actually going to try not to step into the forest at all, even though it looks really peaceful there. It's filled with unexploded ordnances, so like unexploded either mines, uh, unexploded missiles, bombs that the rest is left behind. So thank you to uh, all the EUD guys. Swampy and his team and all the other ones, uh, both the volunteers as well as the Ukrainians because it's going to take a long time to make it safe and like right now I feel so bad for the families that live here because you can't have your kids walking around like I think a 16 year old just got blown up uh, actually I, I think here in Bucha just last week Alright, let's go guys So just like half a block away 
it looks very normal now. But then you can see like some places are not prepared yet, but a lot of places are. So some places are reopened. And they're just trying to function like normal because people are living here still. But you can see like there's cranes up fixing the roofs. It's gonna be a lot of construction for a long time to fix all this stuff, all these damaged homes. Was it? Yeah, all the bullet holes here. There we go. Oh my god, look at this place. Just like when you think things are normal again. Wow. This is what they do the schools here. There's people still living here taking the mushrooms. Kids. And this is just. It's like this weird combination of very normal life. Uh, and it's summer, so right now it actually looks nice. But if these places don't get their windows replaced before winter, they'll freeze. So that's why people will be building so quickly. Yeah, so a lot of the uh, these plastic drapes. This little horror store. It's probably like a normal sight to see everywhere. This brand new construction too. Oh, be careful. <laughs> oh, this is new. Yeah. Like, there's like people like us driving around so slow, like thinking, what the hell? And then there's people just living here just saying, oh, this is just where I'm living and walking, you know? It's almost like we're like war tourists now, which I feel bad to be, but I'm trying to show you guys what's happening. Another. Lots of rebuilding happening here. These fucking windows. It almost, from far away, it almost looked like a decoration or something designed, but it's clearly just, they're all shattered. Yeah. All right, so we just pulled over because we saw a World Central Kitchen office. That's what they're doing here. So here's a uh, World Central Kitchen. Uh, so you are with the World Central Kitchen? Yes. Oh. Uh, how long have you been in Ir Irpin helping? Uh, three weeks. Oh really? Okay. And um, is like a lot of people still without food and? Yes, uh, food. Uh, in packet. Uh huh. Food. Okay. Oh, can I see? When put I buy today, as put I process. So this is like humanitarian aid. Uh, Grichka oil. Flowers. Okay. Uh, are there still many people in uh, Irpin without food? Who lost their houses and uh, relocated people here? Okay, some people came to Irpin. Uh, yeah, she means like people came back now, okay. uh, they have destroyed the houses, so okay. they tried to rebuild and they used all their money at least somehow to, to fix their house. And okay. they have them with food. Well, Diaku you for helping. Thank you very much. Yeah. So guys, as you see, we are in the center of Irpin now, but a lot has changed since I've been back. Things are a little bit different this time. But when you were a little bit farther away, it really looked like you were just in a frame. Yeah. <laughs> so, people are putting things back and repairing it. Okay. It was damaged before, during the war? Okay. Because of, because of war was yeah, okay. Well, you for fixing everything. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be like an internal flame, like never stops? Yeah. Yes. It's not hot. Because the war never ends, so you don't need a fire. <laughs> but look at this. There's broken windows still just here in the city center. Yeah. 
on this side as well. You can see it everywhere. All right, so if you guys can remember exactly one year ago, last summer, me and Bold walked in the exact spots. This is probably the main street, right? This is like the center yeah, center. I think we're going to come now to the main square. Yeah. Okay. Bold's excited that there's some mixed eggs. With this fake Roman thing, like, with the China, like Asian bulbs. China bulbs. That's not the interesting bit, but look at the Soviet mosaic behind Yeah, with the swan. That is actually kind of cool. We've got mosaics, and over there we've got Hesburger. Yeah. What more do you want in a town? So I want to see how much has changed since the war. It has actually has changed for the better the last couple of months since uh, Russia got pushed back. But you can still see like little damages here and there. People are fixing things, but you can still see some broken windows. Let's see what else there is. Today, if you were just with bankrupts. Yeah. <laughs> and people with hair. Yeah, you know? yeah. We, we got one win. <laughs> At least one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. Yeah. I just realized I'm <laughs> but you know, actually, uh, Bold, the reason, the reason why he tried to come to Ukraine is we wanted to come together to Irpin and retrace our steps. So, Bold, we are here uh, in spirit with you. Except for this time, I have a better looking company. <laughs> With better hair as well. <laughs> <laughs> they take it apart just oh, because no. Zelensky was running there. And it's more, uh -huh. more famous uh, on YouTube. The Russians don't want to see kids having fun. Huh? So, even right here in the center center, there's still buildings that have taped up windows, and then some that are completely still broken. Uh -oh. oh, Blin. So, here, that's catastrophic it looks like a missile strike and this is right next to these roman uh, coliseums so guys i wish that uh russia had destroyed these fake roman coliseums and not people's houses <laughs> because these if they uh went away we'd be like okay we didn't, we didn't need them anyways but yeah people were living there I don't know. I want to find out why this is Roman Coliseum themed. Like, if this is just design or if there was a reason for this. Somebody from Airpen, please tell me why this is the way it is. You know what? Let me check Wikipedia real quick. I'll, I'll come right back to you guys. So, Bald, yeah. I checked the good old Wikipedia. Yeah. What, and what kind Did of you find Roman or Greek the history? Of, uh, no, uh, there's okay. nothing. There's literally nothing about it. Okay. And I just asked a local opinion okay. carrying the big jug of water. Okay. And she also, she was like, maybe it's a style. They have no idea. Three down and left from oh, yeah, yeah. From all of this stuff. Yeah. And you can see the windows are open. There's like laundry hanging everywhere. People are looking at People are still living there. Right around this. Yeah. Everywhere except those like... Those, Two, three these, yeah, these like couple units are gone, but the rest of it people are still living in. It's crazy. They did quite a good job of like, keeping the fire in one place, right? Yeah. Well, it's an old brick building, so maybe it didn't spread. Yeah. Yeah. This Hesburger is gone as well. They should put a McDonald's here. So. It looks like the Hesburger, it's still closed. It's not open yet, but people are just hanging out, sitting around in front of it. Oh my God. I can't believe they've got a Hesburger in Irpin. They don't even have one in Kyiv that I've seen. Yeah, because it's such a crap burger place. How dare you? There's good enough for Estonia, there's <laughs> good enough for Irpin. I've had Hesburger in Bulgaria and it was not very good. Really? Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's okay, you have like McDonald's, Burger King. Listen, okay, in and out above that. Listen. Estonians. And, yeah. Estonians, you don't you know about You guys wouldn't have, how dare you? You guys wouldn't have a bad burger in Estonia. <laughs> yes, they Everything would. Great in Estonia. No. Even their burgers. They've got Hesburger. I presumed it was Estonian. No? Is it? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know where it's from, but it's not very good. Please. Is it open? Oh, it's open. Oh, no. Let's check. It says Zakroya. Zac oh no, it looks like it's uh, not open yet. 
I don't know if it's uh, good news or bad news, but it's closed. <laughs> it's probably good news. So it's closed, but it's open? Yeah, you can go look. You can open it. You can go inside. Maybe it's like takeaway only? No, it looks like everything is literally turned off. The door's just open. No, but there's like people inside. Is it working? No. So you can go inside or no? Mm, I mean, you can go inside, but like, unless you want to cook yourself. People go out from there. I mean, so it's closed, right? Yeah. So it is closed, but still, you can open. Who knows? Is is it your new job? Yeah, I know. But does she work there, or is she just hanging out in the? <laughs> Maybe her kids is on the swing. That's her kid. It's your mom out inside, yes? <laughs> so, uh, kind of glad that Hesburger isn't open. So, this forces us to eat somewhere else. Uh, do you want um, Marodogena? Tom? So we're trying to decide what ice cream we want, and Josephine found the alcoholic ice cream in the kids section. <laughs> you want? No, I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm quite okay. interested in the Kubanina, the one. And 18 only. Mm -hmm. Adult uh, ice cream. Oh, it's, it fits you. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to have, have long arms. Oh, I'm Cynthia would take it. Okay, I'm also it's intrigued. Like in Actually, I want which, this one. This one. I want this one. Eskimo pie. I want to try this. Okay. okay. Women and people. What? And I I know. Women and friends and people. Yeah. <laughs> Am I reading this the wrong way? Oh, people, it's not comma, who have medical or oh, not recommended. Yeah. Okay. But it's like women and people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Women and people. <laughs> like, like, women are not unique. It's, it's like the same. Okay. Because it's all like melt. Okay. Let's <laughs> yeah, uh, go get this right. Sort of good. Okay. One. Okay. One. Okay. One, one, okay. Well, thank you, Sugar Mama. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am. Oh. I'm <laughs> Diaku here. Remind me of something. How is it? Whoa. Whoa. It's only 5%, but it feels so strong. Wow. It's quite tasty. <laughs> I got my, my ice cream. Go! Again. You showed us. I didn't. I didn't see it. Woo! <laughs> You're being slow more. <laughs> I want to be wet. I, wa I, I was hoping it would be all wet. Just a little bit fresh. Let me party. Yeah, Mushina. She doesn't check your age. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm old enough to take a vaccine shot. Okay, Carter? Okay. Alright. Okay. School? Alright, then, yeah, more or less. Um, and yes. then, uh, if you would be interested in a dog, like, uh, would you come to to us to pick up? And with a vitamin A, C, C and E. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so good, yeah? That's much better than the vaccination I got. <laughs> I bet it works much Cheers. better. So now we're driving over to Buja. This is that, uh, Plus we got that coffee with the Soviet sink. Village, yes. There's a Soviet hotel. If only we brought our passports, we could have a light in Soviet hotel. Oh god. Oh you know what? That coffee place is actually part of Hotel oh, Arvin. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And this is the hotel. So she handed me this cup, which was the key. I thought it was a cup, like an espresso. <laughs> yeah, come went to espresso. <laughs> Can you give me an Americano? Yeah. All I can say is, спасибо, uh, good. If you didn't film that Soviet toilet, you are not a YouTuber. That was the greatest toilet. Did you see that little, like, heater thing? The hand dryer, the Soviet one? Oh. 
guys, welcome to the most Soviet toilet ever. It even sounds creepy. Here's a Soviet sink. And this is what Bald was so excited about. That's funny, they just hired, hardwired it into this plug. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does, it's actually warm. It has a little mirror on there too. Hey guys, how are you doing? This statue is getting down now. I don't know if they took it down in fear or it was destroyed or stolen. True. If they're ready to pay, they will have money to take care of. Yeah. So these are. So these parts were, were ready to be sold. And now they're completely destroyed. Look at this. The top is still nice though. It's just this whole bottom is destroyed. Like, who's gonna live here? Even for less than a million grivna. Uh, but look how like nice this building is, but all these got damaged. Like all brand new, like ready for people to move in. This was gonna like the hot new area for people to move to. So all this is destroyed over here. These buildings and these shops. It's ironic because there's like a brand new Tesla parked right in front, but you can see up here it's all burnt out. It's probably not a good idea to walk in, but look at this. Yeah, so I think this was a bicycle shop. This was pizza. So just driving down a random road, this is where a lot of the fighting happened. Down these residential streets. They were occupied by the Russians for over a month. You see like every house has shrapnel, bullet holes, broken windows. A lot of them have never been fixed. Guys. Guys, look at this house here on the right. This one was completely destroyed. The fencing is kind of covering a lot of it, but there was someone that was living here. Wow, he can really see all the damage. What it was? Like a market or what? It was a floor oh, like, supermarket. Oh, it was a supermarket. Was it comfy? Wow. Yeah, that's, that's fucking crazy. crazy. Yeah, cool. This is one of the big supermarkets here. Here was a gas station on the side. So we decided to get out of the car and take a look at the supermarket. That's crazy, guys. Imagine the supermarket near your house, like the big one, where all the people go. It looks like this now. Whew. Guys, I can't even like describe how bad this is. I've personally bought things at Comfy before. So this is like a brand I'm very familiar with. If I just showed you this, it'd be bad enough. But once you zoom out and you see this, that's when you know how bad it actually is. The whole inside, completely destroyed. Everything needs to be gutted and rebuilt. I can even smell it still. What's crazy is even though this gas station was also hit, you can see it's, in, it's operational now. No windows, it's like plywood, but it's working. Over there too. Those guys are working. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Some little update on the last video, the Dacia one, that took forever to edit because it was 50 something minutes long. Uh, it was, you know, the day of filming and then two full days of editing. So definitely more than eight hours of editing and it got demonetized and flagged as 18 plus for whatever reason. And still YouTube has not gone back to me to tell me specifically why. They basically said, even though you didn't break any policies, uh, we, we decided it was uh, suitable for 18 and up. 
and it could be because of the wild hemp plant that I showed, because of the dogs barking and the, the fact that they're pit bulls. Uh, even though they're the sweetest dogs in the world, it could be because of the air raid siren and then that there was this war going on in Ukraine. Uh, it could be that accidental babushka's uh, panties that was selling the, uh, the, the fruits. It could be anything. So I have no idea what it is and they won't tell me why. So that's why I really appreciate everyone who is a channel member. Uh, you guys get some, some other perks as well, uh, early access to some videos. Uh, also, uh, some exclusive videos. Right now there is a very cool zombie music video that I filmed uh, at the end of winter that's there now that I can't publish yet until the music video is published. So you can watch an exclusive video. And it just kind of helps. So thank you for the people who have sent tips and also that. Um, for this video, I, I try to make a, a donation, at least a small one for every video, because I want part of the money to go uh, to a fund. And this time I decided, you know what? Let me give a little bit to World Central Kitchen, because we went, we visited their office in Irpin. Uh, they are feeding you know, Ukrainians kind of all, all over. Uh, and I personally had a few of their meals. I wanted to pay them back. I had their meals when I was leaving Ukraine uh, at the Polish border. So to be honest, I'd rather give money to directly to people or to smaller organizations because big ones have a lot of overhead, they're a bit slower to work, but at the same time, they are needed as well. So thank you to World Central Kitchen. Uh, I said a little something just as a token of appreciation. It wasn't a lot, but you know, Diaku, you guys. So this was part one of our adventure out to the Irpin uh, area. The next one, we're gonna go to Bucha. There's just so much footage that I decided to cut this into two. Uh, so stay tuned, stay subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. <laughs> I know. Russian had maps from 1980s and everything has changed also during this time.